I've been wanting to make this video for a long time. Or not a long time. A, a, f a few weeks. Because I've been noticing something, and I'm sure a lot of other people are noticing the same thing. It's that, man, the Seahawks, first of all, they're not bad at all. I think they're a good team. I think they're a playoff team, honestly. Them and Atlanta, I think they're battling it out for that last wild card because Carolina is going to get the first one. But it's that last wild card. You know, you got to battle for that. And both of those teams aren't winning their divisions. So the only way you're getting in is that second wild card. And man, I'm r something I realize Richard Sherman was not just a stud corner he wasn't just like all these guys they weren't just unbelievable like players that they somehow drafted in the fifth round sixth round all this shit i think it's just Pete carroll is a genius Pete carroll is an absolute defensive genius now that i've been watching it over and over and over like the chargers you know they couldn't get anything done it's a tie game if wilson doesn't throw that pick six it's a tie game and Man, I think that they're they're gonna go on a little bit of run here after that. After they play the Rams, I think they might even beat the Rams. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. And you know, like it's so crazy how in the NFL last year everyone was like, "Yep, they're winning their division, no doubt." And then this year, it's like, "There's no way that they're winning that division." What? Like, what did you lose? Sherman, I mean, you didn't have him for, like, half the year anyways. I mean, yes, Earl Thomas, that one fucking sucks. That sucks, because I really, really think <sighs> if they still had him, I mean, that's a top defense, already top five in almost every stat. But I think, you know, what's the, what's the easiest formula for success in the NFL? Really good head coach and a Hall of Fame quarterback, and you got both of those. And the O-line's been playing better lately. It's just, there's just something wrong. Like, I, I'm, I think you can tell what I'm trying to say. There's something wrong. There's, there's just something that's not quite clicking, but everything else is clicking. They just, I think it's probably Doug Baldwin. He needs to get his shit together. Like, where has Doug Baldwin been? He hasn't been like, I haven't seen one good game from Doug Baldwin since he's come back. Like, this makes no fucking sense. This is a guy who last year, Wilson is fucking dancing around, pirouette, make a guy jump into his opponent, then throw it, like, 30 yards to Doug Baldwin, who goes, like, fucking 70. I mean, you're missing that. And you're also, I don't know, it's just, like, they're getting the big plays, they're getting their fucking ground and pound, but they they just need Baldwin, I guess. Or, like, maybe a Jimmy Graham type. Like, just there's something off with the Seahawks. And Russell Wilson is probably the third best quarterback in the league, honestly. Like, because <laughs> Goff, Goff has McVay, right? I love Goff. He has McVay. Patrick Mahomes has Andy Reid and a great fucking offense. Rodgers and Brady are ahead of everyone else. And then, like, Russell Wilson has a defensive coach. He's had a defensive coach his whole year, his whole life, or his whole NFL career. He's got no O-line. His weapons have not been playing well at all. I mean, all of his guys on defense left or got injured, and this man has been carrying a football team. They, he's the MVP. I mean, I know he can't win it because Mahomes is numbers, and obviously that's that's fine, but... He's the most valuable. It, I'm obviously I'm excluding Brady and Rodgers from this, but he's the most valuable player, other than those two, in the league. He's this is such a fucking fun guy to watch, and I'm I'm happy that we get to watch him every Sunday.